Welcome to my channel, Playing with Maserati and Scripture Writing by Honey. We are going to be doing a flip through of my half sheets scripture writing. So before I begin, I'd like to tell everybody welcome. Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give us a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you could share the video, that'd be greatly appreciated. So with that being said, um... You're going to see the cover being a little bit longer than the half sheet. Only because it's temporary until I can get or find my half sheet cover. So with that being said, I did the disc in some weird looking colors. I didn't have enough gold, so I wanted the two, the two peach and the one blue in the middle. But my gold one broke on the end. So I'm like, how do I change it? So, or what do I do? So what I did is I put a green one, and I'm like, wow, oh, it's going to look funny with a gold one here. So then I put a yellow one. So that's how that is. That's how this little decoration came apart. Um, this belongs to my classic size planner, and like I said, until I find the one I want to use for here, then I go ahead and use the half sheets. So this is just a very pretty gold, and in the back, it is backwards, because it's supposed to be front. And this just says, Hustle, Hard Girl. And I just thought this was cute just for the back. So in here, let's get inside the goodies. I need to make dividers. I need to make, you know, cute stuff for it. But for right now, I just made it. And I'm like, well, let me share this. So this is why I'm doing this video. So in here, you're going to see the first thing is Bible in a Year. Chronological Order. So we started off with January. I know it's going to be very hard to see. And I have the website to where I found it. Everything I found is on Pinterest. Anything I found is on Pinterest. So here is that. And then all I did was use the Pen and Gear sticker. The banner because it just says, and there's lots of stuff, notes. And I don't need it to say notes. So I just put what it says. And I used the pink Sarasa pen, which I love this pen. And what point is this? Um, it doesn't say, it just says a porous pen. But if you want the UPC, that's right there. But I love this pen. This pen is really good. I have a lot of colors. We got them at Walgreens for dirt cheap. And yeah, so it works really nice. And there's no bleed through. I don't know what this is. There you go. So this is January the 1st through the 25th. And then when you flip it over, I wasn't going to waste the sticker because it says notes. And then 26th through the 31st, I went to February, March, April. So I didn't waste any paper. May, June. And see, I didn't even label anything on top. I just put the little sticker. July, August, same thing up here. My sticker's like buckling up there. So it was August. Um, September. It was a big old August. And a lot of them look like there's a lot. And there's really not. It's just some of the days, like the 28th, has three. More than three to read. So, like the 28th, for an example, 2 Kings, 18-9, Psalms 46, Psalms 80, Psalms 135. Because of the way I write, I needed extra space. That's the only reason. So, again, September, October, and you'll see there's extra, November, December. And all I did for these label things are the pen and gear. And then just wrote it in, you know, what I needed. Oh, I didn't even cover that one up. Which is fine. The next thing, and then here, this is where I found it. It's by my M-T-H-E Bron B-O-R B-R-O-N dot org. But look at in line, look in line. Oh my gosh, I was already really. Look online, and it will say Bible in one year chronological order. 
And if you have any questions, the first one starts with Genesis 1-3. So if you see that, you're going to know that you have the right one. Um, this one here is 30 days in Psalms. So it's 30 days. So the blessings, calling to God, confidence, deeds of God's doubt. No, I'm sorry, deeds of God. Why did I say that? And then doubt, faithfulness of God, fear, glory of God. God is a helper, identity, justice of God, meditation, mercy, music. And then it just keeps going on. The next one, and again, if you just type in 30 days in the Psalms, you would get this list. And I was just, because I get sent in Pinterest, let me explain this. I get sent in Pinterest all the little things that come to me. Like, if I clicked on Bible scripture, then they're going to send me people that have done it. Like, who's made Bible scripture or who's saved it. So then I'll click on it, screenshot it, and then write it down. And that's how I get a lot of these. It's by just looking for one and they'll email me every single day, you know, everything. So that's why I made this. I'm like, one day I'm going to feel like I need uh, 40 days of God's vision. So here you have it. Um, the 40 days of God's vision is a 40-day reading plan. Story of Noah. And then that's the first four. Story of Joseph, the next four. Story of Jonah, uh, story of Peter, story of Paul. And then story of Nahima. Can't ever say that one. Story of Ezra, E-Z-R-A. And then I just wrote more, 40 Days of God's Vision. Story of Haggy, an example of acting on a vision. So the next, and then yes, this is blank, but if I have any notes, I can put it or whatever. The next one is the Book of Psalms reading plan. So Monday would be Psalms 1, and then I have the space here just like they did. And then I'll just either date it, start the date, or end, you know, I'll probably start the date on top and write the end date on top of when I do this. But I can always check it off or, you know, whatever. So that's that. And yes, it has another wasted page here because I ran out. But again, I can use it somewhere else. Like I can write notes or anything in that matter. This one here is the God of Miracles. So it's a 30-day book of Mark Bible reading plan. And then it's just all about Mark. The next one is Intentional Living. So this is a 21-day Bible reading. And then it says questions to answer each day. How can you summarize, no, it's of course on the back, this passage in two to three sentences? Question two, what does this passage teach you about the intentional living? Number three, what is the Lord specifically leading you to do in response to this passage. And then what you're going to do is pray and ask the Holy Spirit to help you walk in obedience to his passage. So I thought that was nice, something different. The next one is 31. So it's God's timing and 31 day reading plan. So his timing. So that's that. It was starting to get a little sloppy. This I liked, and I'm going to have these separate from, like, the scripture writing or the reading plans, because I still haven't even put scripture writing in here. So this one here is Acts, Bible study method. So A is for ask, what God wants you to understand about this passage. C is chapter, read the chapter carefully and prayerfully. T, think about how the chapter applies to your life and ask scripture. Write out the scripture that stood out to you in your reading. And all I did was use washi tape, which fell. And again, I used the Penninger sticker. And I just used this cute little washi tape. And look at how pretty that turned out. Except for my washi tape keeps buckling. But yeah, so that's that one. 
The next one is verse mapping, which everybody should know probably verse mapping. There's a couple of steps to it, well, more than a couple. There's eight. Step one is choose your verse. Step two is write or copy your verse. Step three, circle or highlight words you want to study. Step four, look up the verse in your in other versions or parts of the Bible. Mm -hmm. Step five, use a concordance to look for related verses. Step six, look at the verse in the context of the passage. Step seven, research the background to the verse. And step eight, pray, journal, and apply what you have learned. So that's that one. This one here is a Bible reading plan to battle fear. So if you have any fear. Well, this you can actually journal. So this is like a little scripture writing. And then Bible Mark, the law of order, the prophets, justice, the writing, wisdom. And again, all these are from the Penny Gear sticker books. So it's basically from these sticker books here. And uh, is it this one I used? Um, I used some stuff in here, but I don't think it was this one. But if you look at the Penny Gear sticker books, there's a lot of good stickers in here that maybe not fit Mambi or like Erin Condren, but will work perfectly in here just to study the word. And then you have the Gospel, Salvation, the Letters, Faith. And then I just labeled some, and yeah, so that's it. And I just have extra paper. I got the paper at Men uh, Myers. I was going to say Menards. Myers, it's a grocery store. It's like a Walmart kind of thing. And yeah, I got it from there for four ninety nine. I had the cover and I had the disc. So my investment was four ninety nine because I already had everything else. But this is the half sheets. This is ways to use your half sheet. So this one will strictly be for faith. I will make one for like everyday living and stuff like that. But for this one, this one will be faith. So thank you for watching. And if you're not subscribed, please do so so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give this a big thumbs up. Leave a comment. And if you could share the video, that'd be greatly appreciated. And again, this will not stay like this. This will have its own real half size sheet cover. And I just got to find one today. So thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of this. I will probably put stickers once I have the real cover on here. But for right now, I'm going to put dividers and all that. And once I update this, I will, you know, show you as I go. But thank you. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.